Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Township Tales video. Today, we will be jumping into a new server. This one was actually one of the mates you'll probably see him later on, or you have seen him before. Um, he has ownership over the server currently. Um, he goes by Hinata on Discord, but you know him as Sean plays probably in Township. Um, and he owns this one currently. And we're gonna go check it out. Uh, we're gonna meet him um, soon for you guys. This is post, clearly. Um, what do we have Luma here? So she's a handy little trinket that we can keep around with us. Um, yeah, so let's begin. Um, okay. So there is multiple places that you can be at. So like there's multiple towns other than this one. Oh, really? Because so, this looks familiar. Um, this looks like what they did in Dungeon 2. Um, yes. But also, no, I made this one up before playing Dungeon Town. Ah. Huh. Um, it's a good method. There was a whole tree here, but it was causing lag, but there was a whole bunch of, uh, a tree right here, and it was growing a bunch of, like, uh, heart receptacles. What? Uh, life roots. Oh. If we can, uh, move over to the forest, which is where one of the, um, Where one of the towns is? Well, that sounds fancy. But uh, whoa, whoa, okay, um, oh my god. <laughs> gonna get over to the forest a little bit, uh, yeah, okay, we're a bit of a speedy one in this, I like that. Oh boy, I love this. Can I keep this? <laughs> Can you imagine if everyone could run around like this? Oh, I like this. Although, some floaty issues and whatnot. Oh my. Okay, this place is called Wano. Is this someone? Um, there was a lot more to it. What is it Those called? Houses and everything, but uh, Wano. This is one of the places. Um, Wano. Oh no, Wallachia is on our way to the tower. Okay, so that'll be a town that we see. Oh boy. Okay, so now we are going to this other location. We're a little bit faster than the mate, even though it's a server. I think I want to keep this. Oh, that probably almost killed me. Still want to keep it there. <laughs> oh? This is it? How do you get over there? Oh, you made an entrance over here? Oh, elevator. Goodness. And this is one of the houses? Hello. Yep. That is Ashton's house. Ashton? Actually. Is that one of your mods? Okay, I think a few things got duplicated here. There's two of the um the deposit boxes here. I don't remember there being a chest back there. Was there always a chest back there? Oh yeah, there was always a chest back what there. What the heck? I have to go I check out the service now. No, that's new to me. Oh, yeah, this my is god. I think this, this is my new favorite place. Uh -huh. I like this. Huh. And what's up here? What's up there? Oh, that's Mr. Pipehanner's tower. Oh, yeah, he was a mage. He was supposed to do a voodoo and all that. So, yeah. This is, uh, this is the place. Oh, so is, um, is Bag keep inventory on for the server, or no? Yes. Oh, it is? Yes. Okay. That'll be but very I'm excellent. But I'm to, like, take it off if people, uh, have some, uh, issues with it. Oh, understandable. The only reason I have you a present. Oh? If you were to pick purple or black, purple. which one would you pick? The anvil here, I see that there's the fire on it. Does that actually function as a fire? Yes. Oh, that's so nifty, because that way that your your equipment doesn't cool down when you're still trying to hammer it. So, yeah, that insta-heats your stuff, by the way. What else? The fire under the anvil? Insta-heats any blade. Oh, good. There we go. Wow. Because it's Valiant, that's supposed to take the longest. Yeah, but... Huh. Oh my god, that did oh, go wait, instant. Look. Are yeah. you planning to add any more things to it? Or what's up? Um, yeah, I'm planning 
towns. Much more towns. Much more towns. Yes, because I feel like adding multiple towns and making them almost different every time would definitely look nice. Uh, uh, definitely a mine one would be interesting, like at, at the first Ooh. maybe few ten levels you could put some housing down at the bottom. So, anything else you want to talk about? Um, as the most part, adding more towns is probably the best option so far. But of course, I feel like when it comes to a town you, you will need to have everything. Um, because this one just seems like an, a blacksmith outpost. Only reason I didn't build everything is because I want people to actually like, you know, kind of work for it. We have classes, races, uh, we also have, um, jobs, so like hunters, cooks, um, such, uh, others, too. And do you have a limit? Do you have a limit on who can be what? No! Anybody can be whatever they want. Because what if ten people join the server and they all want to be blacksmith? Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> See the predicament yeah, there? Some People can do like a little bit of everything, right? Yeah. Like if they do a little bit of everything, they won't get paid for it. So if somebody has a job, so they'll actually... get paid from you or a mod? Yeah. On the launcher, it says that we don't ban anybody, but we do set the. Okay. It's on the offense. So if they're like being rude and such. Yeah. Uh, not like hate speech or anything, but like being rude in general. They're gonna go into jail with like this the spawn set for at least 30 minutes. But if they're like oh boy. crime and everything, let's say like uh, uh, they call us like dirty uh, N words. That's very specific, or but yes. Like that. Um, yeah, it's oddly specific, but like we had people do that before, and now they're in jail. For, um, Profanity. Like a bunch of. Yeah, they're in there forever. I Ouch. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Have your, have your political justice system and jobs and free roam. And I think adding. Uh, definitely adding towns is a. a shift in the right direction for a server. Because yeah. people people get used to this town, so they kind of know where everything is, but there's nothing new about it. It's just, it's town. You are the color inverse to me. Yep. The opposite of purple's yellow. Oh, actually, that's <laughs> pretty cool, huh? What a yeah. Coincidence. Well, everybody, this is the homeland. Oh, what was the entire name? Uh, what do you mean? Kingdom of the homeland? Kingdom, Kingdom of the of homeland. The homeland. Kingdoms of the Homeland. So this uh, server has some interesting aspects to it, and uh, clearly with our mate here, Sean Place, uh, being our owner. So if he's ever around, you, you'll know and see him. I notice that when it comes to server owners, their color scheme is typically yellow and white. So that's pretty interesting in itself, um, because that's how um, that's how uh, Dungeon Tales server owner was too. He had that color scheme. But um, yeah, so the extensive amount of towns that we're probably going to get in the server is interesting. I'm going to be on here a lot more too. I'm intrigued to see where the server is going to go. And um, knowing like with what happened to Dungeon Tailor and all that, coming to new servers, seeing how people develop them is going to be interesting in its own. So this will be a nice one to add. Um, and I'll definitely come here more often. And uh, hopefully you guys will as well um, for all you PC players. And if you are a Quest player and you have a PC, definitely recommend getting Township on the PC because there's a lot more to it I'm, right now. I'm also going to add a quest version too. Oh, okay. So you'll be able to join that when that comes out too. And then um, so far, my favourite town is the one on the mountains, but anybody if you enjoy like the forest, going to the forest, going up to the climbing tower, either or it's all here. Or if you like the generic stay in town where everything is uh, because it contributes a lot, but um, yeah, come check out the server if you can, and I'll be here making videos um, potentially as well. So remember the name, Kingdom of the Homeland, right? Kingdoms of the Homeland. Okay, yeah. I gotta remember that by thought. That's gonna take some time. <laughs> but um, oh, night falls once again. I guess this is my criteria. Yeah. So a few things to get into, and um, we have a few moderators in the game that are gonna figure everything out. And I'll uh, make sure that you go join this mate on Discord. I'll be sure to remember to put it in the link. I know I forget to do that sometimes when I put these things together. 
So I should probably go back to the videos that I missed and then put that in the Discord and hopefully some changes can be made there. And um, yeah, so thank you all for watching. And um, thank you Sean Plays for showing me around in the server, especially since you're the new owners. And uh, everyone have a wonderful day and goodbye. Goodbye.